Hi, it is the tutorial cage, and uh, today is going to be the first part of how to make a good platformer. Uh, basically, I'm going to show you how to do gravity, moving, and blocks, oh, and also jumping. So you make your player sprite, and make your ground sprite. Okay, so after you've got your two pick, after you've got them, uh, open the player uh object and this for gravity go into the step event and if if position is collision free uh just x zero y one only solid relative set gravity two seventy zero point five not relative else set the gravity two seventy zero not relative so if you got a bit of note and then collision with the ground uh, vertical speed equals zero. Alright, so now for moving left, you go if position is collision free, minus four, only solid relative. And then jump to position uh, x minus four, y zero, uh, relative. And then for right, it's the same thing except for one to minus four. So x four, y zero, only solid relative. For collision, position is collision free. And then for jump position to given position, it's just four relative. Right. Now for jumping, if there is a collision at position uh, z x zero y one on solid relative, then make sure you're actually like on on the ground, like there's something beneath you. So, um, and then you do set, set the vertical speed minus twelve or however much you want. That's how high you jump. And the reason why this first thing's here is because if it wasn't, you'd be able to jump, like, a hundred times. Like, you could just keep passing it, and it'd be like you're flying. And then for object one, whoops, object, or for the ground, all you have to do is mark it solid. Okay, so now you make your room. I'm just going to quickly make one here. And then add fire. And there you go. So you see, you can jump pretty high. So yeah, you can change it if you want to. And so that is episode one of how to make a platform with dandy actions. Remember, five stars, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.